Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing our series on integrating Zero into our poster, we're going to show off the uses and effectiveness of the burn and dodge tools. These tools are digital versions of using light and dark to create effects in photography development. In the darkroom, you usually do this by exposing your photographic paper to certain levels of light, to certain parts of the image for certain amounts of time. This can have dramatic effects. The effect is the same in Photoshop, only we have much more control over it. So generally the idea with this is that I want to create a little bit of dramatic flair. I want to accentuate his muscle tones a little and add some shadow to his face as well as brighten up his eyes. I don't want to do anything over the top though because the idea behind these effects is that no one notices them. Now normally I'd simply apply the burn and dodge effects to the layer, but if I want to do something that is not permanently affecting the image, there are a few extra steps to take. So we're going to add a new layer. And I'm going to call it Zero Burn and Dodge. I'm going to grab the Fill tool. I'm going to check my foreground color and set it at gray at 50%, as you can see right there. Press OK. Fill it in. Oh god, everything's gone. We can fix this, don't worry. I'm here to help you. With the layer selected, in the Composition Options, go down to Overlay. There, we're fine now. Now, grab the Burn tool, and we want to set it at 90 pixels, so it, we create very subtle burning effects, like so. Make sure your range is at mid-tones, exposure is nice and low at 30%, and always check Protect Tones. So just add little bits here and there, we're basically creating shadow and accentuating his muscles a little more. Remember, this is meant to be very subtle. Add some shadow to the back of him. That's fine. And then follow his cheekbone area to add a little shadow to that. Go ahead and cover his ear, his neck. Get a little bit of his cranium is where his temple is and then make it bigger and just go over, do a once over of the sword just so it can have a little bit of depth and that's pretty good so before, after, before, after, before and after so there you have it, pretty simple stuff now you can always use the eraser tool to get rid of any extra burn around the image, which won't make a big difference in the poster itself, but as you make continue to make changes, you might notice it. So it's always good to just keep consistent. But that's really all there is to it. So now we want to brighten up those pretty eyes. Go to the dodge tool. Keep the exposure at 100%, that's fine. Keep the pixel nice and small because I'm dodging his eyes. And just Get in there. There we go. Let's look at it again. Before, after, before, after. Definitely makes a difference. So, not much to it. Pretty simple stuff. But we still have a long way to go into integrating Zero into our poster effectively. So, in the next video, I'm going to take our star and add a realistic shadow.